Okay, what we got now is my project board. This is project board one. Now, what I'm planning to do with this is I'm going to build a bit of a road on it. Now, this whole exercise is done, it's going to be done using silicon moulds that I cast everything myself. The whole diorama is going to be cast from silicon rubber moulds. So this is the start of it. I'm going to start with something reasonably easy. I've already cast uh, manhole covers so I'm going to have a manhole cover there. I'm going to have a drain over this side and along this back piece here I want to put some type of wall up so high to give uh, this diorama a bit of a, a backdrop for the simple reason is this diorama is only going to be used for uh, displaying vehicles that I actually build so they'll actually sit on here to have the pitch taken so I would like somehow I have a tree that I made a long time ago uh, tree <laughs> as it's partly out of shot and I, I, I'm not going to keep moving the camera I'd like the tree somewhere over the back here behind the wall so I think the wall is going to have to be some sort of uh, park or something like that so it will probably have to go piers with some railings that's probably the way I'll go on this one uh, there will be other ones where I do full buildings and everything else but they will come later this one is uh, the start because uh, this is the first time that I've actually got into uh, casting. I've done casting before on a larger scale uh, different uh, bits and pieces uh, what are they now? like coving, fancy coving and uh, dado rails, picture rails, stuff like that but I've never cast this small um, so this is going to be an interesting project now what I'm going to do now I will stop the camera and do this because I'm going to need. I'm going to cover this in some cling film, and you, you'll see the reason. I'm going to cover the whole lot in some cling film, and uh, then I'll go on to the next stage. The way I'm going to uh, actually make the base to start off with. There is one thing I'm going to say though: is that these edges will not it won't be square I'm going to bring the edges in like so uh, so you can actually see the blocks that I actually use and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast the actual sand course that the blocks would have sat on so that's the reason why the cling film but I'll stop the camera, I'll get it done, and then I'll come back and show you the next stage. Right, as you can see, I've covered it in cling film. The reason being, like I said, I want to cast a sand course. And we're going to use a bit of this. Put it around the right way. That's what I did anyway. We'll go that way then. Ordinary silicon. That's all we're going to be using. And we're going to be using... A very small nozzle. Now what I'm using this for is to create a dam all the way around because I'm going to use some casting resin, uh, casting powder to actually do this. So the line that I've uh, drawn I will follow that round now with the silicon gun. Like so, I'm 
the back bit I'm not too fussed about we can go across in a straight line well straightish all right that is it that's all I'm going to do now what I shall do is leave that to dry so we can come down I shall leave that to dry and I shall mix up some uh, casting uh, plaster and I will put that into there because it's going to take the shape of what's underneath so it's going to sit nice it's going to give me a nice dead flat surface to start laying my blocks and all my path bits on and also when I've finished the silicon comes off and then this can be weathered in as the sand course uh, underneath the box so I shall stop the video and come back if for you it will be seconds but for me it will be about an hour right, I've uh, casted the base and as you can see I've taken the silicon off already now what I'm going to do is use my favourite little tool, scalpel what I'm going to do is just gently go all the way around the edge of this cutting through the paper and marking the board and in great blue Peter fashion I've already done that so that now is my base nice and thin and I don't think I'm really much to clean it up on there because I quite like the edge of that so that's my actual base and now what I should do I shall remove all this then I shall glue this back down into position and as I've gone through with the scalpel it's left me a positioning mark all the way around and then I shall start laying my blocks on that right I've cleaned it all up taken the paper and that off now this was the bit I took out uh, the base picture that I started off with and if we turn this over the cling film comes off as easy as that so now we've got a nice flattish surface and I don't know well you can just about see that there's my line I went round with the scalpel which I will glue now that in place like so and using this is my template now I can mark through where I'm going to put my curbs my drain so I can set it all out now and I can then start laying my curbs and laying my blocks and uh, well that's it for this bit so I shall come back to you when I start laying the blocks and the bricks right what I've uh, gone and done I've covered it in some low tack tape and then marked around it and cut just ooh, about what, four or five mil inside this area simple reason is I like to be able to actually work on the base so I can glue this down now and I can make as much mess as I want and then at the end we can just trim around you'll probably even find that it'll actually pull out especially if you only just glue round the edge and that's what we're going to do next and I'm going to use my favourite stuff if it's not blocked up which it is and that always uh, happens here that comes out and my favourite stuff PVA glue don't leave a home without it so 
And all we do is when it decides to come out. Yeah, see it's playing up. These things always happen. There you go. Must be a, a lump there. But uh, plenty of PVA glue. You can never put too much PVA glue on in my, in my way of thinking. Right, uh, we just need some to. Oh well. The finger was invented before the spreader. Right, so, bit of tissue, wipe the finger. <coughs> right. This is going to get glued directly to the board. Like so. A bit of a squish. Like that. And that's it. I shall leave that to dry. And then we'll start marking out and getting some blocks on. Right. The setting out on this, there is only one critical line on this diorama, and that is this path line here, which this is what you're going to work back from with the blocks. So it's very important to get this in position and where exactly where you want it, because we start with the curbs. They will be glued down first and then the blocks and everything will run from that forward. So it's extremely important that you do get this bit well as straight well it is, it is as straight as you can. And all I'm gonna do is I've got the template that, that was underneath, just tape them to the top. And it's already drawn out for me. Uh, with steel wool and a scalpel or exacto knife just go straight away along there like that and the same that way sorry about putting my big, hat, big arms in the shot but uh, So hopefully we're going to take that off. Because the manhole, you don't really have to set out because we can put that in by eye. But uh, like I say, we'll take that away. And there we've got our set out line for that W. Can you see that? I'll tell you what. I can see it as clear as mud there, look. So that's where it will be going. That will be the edge of the box here somewhere. Is where the actual curb stones will be running along, and like I say, you've got to get that nice and straight. I should glue them down first, leave them to dry, and then I'll start putting the block work for the road forward. After that, once we've done the block work, then we should move, move to the path putting the path in and the back wall because you've got this line that you've moved forward on and then you've got that line again to go back on. Is it's easy as that. 